Hey guys, it's Infamous Mango here from Big Big Nation. Today I'll be showing you how to add more RAM to your vanilla server, which is a regular Minecraft server, your bucket server, how to set your Java path if you open up your server batch file and it closes in a split second, and how to boost your server performance just a bit. So let's get started and click whatever annotation you want. To skip ahead in the tutorial, go to that part. And yeah, hopefully this will help. Send me a message or a comment if you need help. Now to add more RAM to your vanilla server, which is a regular Minecraft server from Notch's website, open that up. Now what you want to do is right click and create a new text document. Now open that up, and let me open up my little text file here. And basically you're going to copy this code from the description into your text document over here. Java blah 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 Minecraft underscore server, make sure that's the name of your file in there for your server. And then the part that you edit is right here these digits right here before the M and basically you can change it 512 means and um, it's really only sufficient for one maybe two people so it's kinda pointless you really need one gig to run a decent server so if you're 32 bit you might not be able to go above one gigabyte just because of how much RAM you may have but you can try you know and then you have 2 gigs, 3 gigs, 4 gigs, 5 gigs, you can go up to 12 gigs or even more if you have a beast computer. I'm just going to have 8 gigs, so I'm going to use 3 gigs right now. And change this and the same side over here. And make sure that looks good. Now I'm going to go file save as and call it anything I want. Launch more RAM. Make sure you have a dot bat at the end. Save it as all files save and now you can delete your text document if you really want you can always go here and edit it if you want to change something but I can just open up this batch file and it should load up my minecraft server and everything now if you do get a pro uh, wait one more thing if you wanna boost your server a bit you can change the java process by holding control shift escape and then look for your java dot exe right here right click that and you can set the priority to real time and technically this should um, boost your server a bit you can even change it to one of the other options but it could Java is going to be the main thing your computer is running so you can't really have anything else open so you can do that set your pri priority part of me to above normal high real time is the best so you can do that and if you open up your batch file and it closes right away you need to set your path so just click the link or click the annotation right there at the top corner wherever it is and it should take you to that part of the tutorial now to add more RAM to your bucket servers I'm gonna open up my bucket folder here crab bucket jars there now what you want to do is right click create a new text document you've seen this in my server tutorial you can go watch that for a detailed one and basically I have um, Java 7. To find out what Java you have, you can go to computer, your hard drive. Um, program files by 86 means 32-bit Java. So if I open it up, I have Java 6 32-bit, but I have a 64-bit machine. So if you wanted to do that, you would have to use um, a code here. See, this is Java 6. And if you're running Java 32-bit mode on 64, change program files to program files by 86. So that's pretty self-explanatory. However, for me, you guys might not have this. I have program files also, which is 64-bit, and I have Java JRE7, which is Java 7. So I'm gonna obviously use Java 7 64-bit because it suits my computer. JDK, um, don't worry about that. That's for Minecraft bonding. But anyways, so Java 7 is right here. So I'm gonna look at the corresponding code on this website or in the description, and I'm gonna use this. I'm using 64-bit code. Java 7 on my computer so I'm just gonna paste it in here and the thing you edit again is this part so we are going to open up my handy dandy server stuff text file and then change these things so I'm gonna again make it uh, 3 gigabytes and then that looks good and I'm gonna go file save as and call it um launch more RAM dot bat and then save it as all files basically the same thing that we did a few minutes ago open that up and it should open 
Okay, there we go. Error occurred during initialization of VM. Could not reserve enough space for object heap. Press setting key to continue. Um, if you get one of these errors on the side here or this, you need to set it back to 1 gig or it means you don't have enough RAM, right? And for me, I have, for some reason, my computer runs a lot of different things and my computer might be a bit messed up than yours. So if that doesn't work, so I'm going to make mine up here. Let me try 2 gigs. Let's see if that works. My computer sucks right now. So we're going to try 2 gigs. Now let's see if that works. Yes, it worked. So 2 gigs worked for me. That's why you have to see how much works for you. So that's how you add more RAM. Wait a minute, I already had to serve running. Maybe that's why. Let's edit this again and make it um, 3 gigs. So make sure you don't have um, two servers running at the same time. If you do click the crap bucket um, f server file, you have to go into processes and end it m manually like that because it runs in the background. So, yeah. Now let's open up my launch more RAM. It should work because, yeah, there it worked. So that only happened because I had two servers running at the same time. So just check what's best for you. So if you click your batch file and it closes in a split second, you need to set your Java path. Now how to do this is basically go to your computer, right click, go to properties, put it off to the side. Now click advanced system settings. And now you want to go to environmental variables. So I'm just going to click that. And now you want to scroll down until you see one that says path which is right here, you're going to click edit and just go to the end of whatever is there and add a semicolon, that's really important. Now what you want to do is find your Java directory basically. Go to your hard drive, if you have 32-bit it should be here. I have 64-bit Java 7 right here, GRE 7, click that, click on bin. And now what you want to do is click up here and just copy this directory from the over here. So just go copy and then over here you want to paste it after the semicolon once you're done that you want to put one more backslash after bin make sure you do that and if you want you can put a semicolon if you have something else but I won't I think it works without it if it doesn't you can try with a semicolon but that's how you set your path you can click OK so it's over there now click OK OK and you're done setting your path so it should work now if you have any questions, um, comments, concerns, please leave a comment and message me if you want specific help. Tell me exactly what you need because I get a lot of comments and it's the same stuff over and over. So thanks for watching guys. Peace.